that it's possible for you to create your own dream life. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Kenny and I just went for a quick walk but today we'll talk about some of the fun places that I've been to and talk you guys through some funny stories. Alright guys the first photo we're going to talk about is this one. It is me standing in Jordan and to be honest I wouldn't really go there if it was just on my own but Lucky enough, football takes me around the world in places that I wouldn't normally go. So we played our qualifiers for the World Cup and Jordan actually really surprised me. It was a beautiful country. We traveled for 48 hours and honestly was probably the best 48 hours I've had in a very, very long time. We went and saw Petra. We were lucky enough to go see the Dead Sea. We went to Wadi Ram, which is the desert. In the middle of the desert, we woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning to ride some camels at sunrise. We also spent all night talking to some elders and cooking tea in the middle of the desert, stargazing. Them just telling us stories about how they grew up. It was really cool to experience completely different culture in a completely different place. Really awesome experience to be able to do it with the girls in my team. I feel as if most of them feel like family. We spend more time with uh, the girls than we normally do with our own brothers and sisters and it was awesome to be able to take time off. 48 hours isn't a long time but it felt like a very long time. We don't normally get time off after tournaments and uh, it really made me grateful for the opportunities I get to travel overseas and play overseas and explore parts of the world that I normally wouldn't explore. Alright, the next photo is this one. Um, a fun fact, I am actually an advanced scuba diver. I was certified when I had my time off. I've actually traveled, really only really traveled seven or eight, maybe ten countries. Because during your football time when you travel, the only thing you really see is four walls and a football pitch. So when I took my time off, I wanted to do something that was really fun and I traveled to the Philippines, Thailand, Greece, Croatia, Malta and Italy and I got certified in Thailand and then I went on and dove in Croatia, Malta and Italy and honestly it was so much fun and since then I actually haven't done it, I haven't had time to have some time off and really relax and go and scuba dive the best part about scuba diving is you can't do any physical activity for 24 hours after scuba diving and I think that's the best part but being an athlete we don't really get that much time off I think that's why quarantine right now is making me go insane. I think Kenny can vouch for that. Um, but yeah, getting out here, doing a walk. Snake. <laughs> she thinks she's funny, guys. She thinks she's funny. My next one has to be this one. It is me fishing in Norway. And I look like I'm freezing my butt off because I am. I spent eight months in Norway playing in the league over there. I had an incredible time with two of my really good friends on the national team, Emily Gilnick and Ellie Carpenter. First time that I spent a significant time overseas. Norway is a beautiful country, it really is, but it taught me a lot about myself, about isolation, because Scandinavians are a bit shut off. You know, they're not as friendly as us Australians or even Americans sometimes. But yeah, I think for me, I have to show this one because I absolutely love fishing. It reminds me of my childhood, uh, growing up at my nonna's house, going and fishing for food. And yeah, it's just one of the great memories and a great photo. And I really enjoy my time in Norway. 
Come on, baby. You want to record you blowing one of these up? No, you can do it. No, no, I don't want to do it. Come on. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, want to, I want you to take it. <laughs> Get out of my face. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this place is pretty legit. What is it? Please spray me. So as we're exploring this oh, other leg, as we're exploring this abandoned, I have no idea what it is. I was walking through. Let's flip it around. Walking through this, and now my leg is bubbling. So and it's super itchy. Thanks for being Dr. Kenny. <laughs> Does anyone really know what it is? Can you please comment if you do, because my leg is on fire and it's bubbling. Cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get out of here before I get myself hurt even more. <laughs> it was going to be of us. It's going to be this one. Uh, this was taken at New Year's um, in Sydney Harbour. It's actually quite embarrassing that I live only like two kilometres from Sydney city and I have never seen the fireworks in person uh, and Kenny obviously has never been um, in Sydney either so I decided that we should get some tickets to P1 and have a look at almost touching distance from the fireworks which was a really cool experience. Did you like it? I loved it. It was amazing. Yeah I think it was a cool experience but we didn't really know, we weren't really prepared that everything was going to be closed in Sydney. So we tried to get an Uber in and the roads were closed and then we tried to get a tram. We ended up walking like, I don't know, like maybe three k's to get to the event. And then when the event was over, we had to do the exact same thing back. And I don't really wear heels often, so it was a bit of a torture. And um, on the way home, Kenny gave me her socks out of her shoes so that I could wear something on my feet on the way home. We had a pretty amazing experience and we had a lot of fun. Alright guys, we're heading home and I'm going to wrap up the video but I think for me it's about making every moment count with the lifestyle that we live. We get to experience some incredible things, go to incredible places and meet incredible people. I'm fortunate enough to be surrounded by so many people that I've met from all around the world that I can now call my best friends and my family point one <laughs> guys make sure if you know what that thing on the ground was can you please comment below because my leg is <laughs> on one make sure that you like comment and share um, <laughs> from the previous video <laughs> I need to work on my endings I guess no you do great thanks anyways yeah, I think I'm going to do another video on some of the experiences that I've had. I think it's really cool to be able to tell my story. Through photos, they're a timepiece. It's a lot of fun being able to go back through my memories. I'll do a football one soon. So make sure that you're still watching and ring the bell.